Hey YouTube, this is Orion making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Um, I've got a comparison video. Mole Man actually has a an original Sanmai 3 tie pan. So I'm able to compare it to my new Sanmai tie pan, which I will do now. So, yeah, and I, I do apologise. I'm out in the backyard of my old man's place and there is some ambient noise in the background, but I do apologise for that. Um, the original San Mai's 3's tie pans did come in the usual leather sheaths and Dad did opt to get a Kydex one made up. So that's the Kydex version and he has the original leather sheath that it comes. So as everyone knows, the original Sanmai 3 tie pan, which this one is, says there on there. I don't know how good the lighting is here. Um, it's just out, out in the backyard, it says Taipan there, San, VG1 Sanmai 3, these are made in Japan, so they are the original ones, and I've had a chance to have a look over the knife, and to tell you the truth, um, as usual, the J Japanese ones, the fit and finish on them are excellent. All the grind lines are very even. The laminate line is near perfect. Everything is very well done on it, um, as you would expect. And then when you compare it to my Taipan in San Mai, they did change it slightly. Um, the VG1 Sanmai 3 is slightly pointier, so they added a little bit more belly to the to the Sanmai tie pans. Um, that's the major difference. Everything else is almost exactly the same. Um, there is very little differences. They did, if you hear, notice here, they did drop this out, um, cut it in, cut it in a little bit. Whereas on my Taipan, they didn't do that. So pronounced. Um, there's the two of them side by side. And I'm, I'm glad I've got the opportunity to be able to do this. Um, yeah, it's um, it's a good, it's a good, good comparison because I want I want to see them both side by side and see that they are producing very similar quality as far as. The Taiwanese made ones compared to the Japanese made ones as far as the quality goes in their fit and finish and everything because I've gone over the knife both knives both of them seem very similar in quality from what I can see um, as I said all the grind lines on both of them are all very even the laminate lines are all even the fit and finish is all very similar the only fit and finish and it's very nitpicky on mine just here the Crayx doesn't quite fit perfectly but that's so nitpicky it um it just doesn't fold in or fit in perfectly but you don't even notice it in the grip but the Japanese version 
all the way around here is all perfectly fitted all the way through. So yeah, I just wanted to show you my Taipan Sanmai up top, the Japanese version Sanmai 3 at the bottom. They did slightly change it as far as the blade shape goes, but still quite a, a robust fighting dagger. So they stayed pretty faithful to the um, to the original design when they changed over to the Taiwanese versions. And there they are. And um, yeah, I as far as the the sheaths go, um, the Securex. I think I will eventually get a Kydex one made up for it because, yeah, I, I don't, the retention's not real good and I'd prefer it, prefer a Kydex one. Dad's Kydex one is a little bit dramerous. It has a lot of retention and, um, yeah, it's a good sheath, but we've been trying to work on getting getting it to to be able to work properly but um yeah but anyway yeah I, I just wanted to show you on camera the um the two different versions and show the the um the the fit and finish and just the comparison between the two the San Mai 3 and the San Mai and see that there isn't between these two particular knives of these these exact ones, there isn't that much difference in quality or fit and finish as far as it goes. So, yeah. Anyway, a bit of a longer video than I normally make. But anyway, I, I hope this is interesting and thanks for watching.